Hello, welcome to All My Yankee Candles A to Z Part 11. Part 11, I've got M. M split into two parts because I've got so many M candles, luckily for me. Um, so for those who haven't seen this series before, I just run through All My Yankee Candles very quickly. This isn't one of my detailed reviews, it's just to cover every Yankee candle I own while I've still got such an extensive collection and before new ones come in and old ones go out, I thought it was a good time to capture it. So here we go, Part 11. This is the first section of M's and here we go. Okay, the first one is Mandarin Cranberry. Mandarin Cranberry is a beautiful winter warming scent. And again, it's one of these ones that smells more than the sum of its parts. It's got that delicious citrus note, but it's full of cranberry as well. So it's great in the um, lead up to Christmas, uh, sort of November time. I love burning this one. It's beautiful. It's a good strong thrower as well, this one. Oops, nearly broke my jar there. That's not a good start. Mandarin Cranberry is lovely. Okay, next one up is... Midsummer's Night. Now, um, if I had to name my top five Yankee Candles out of the two, three hundred different ones I've got, this is in my top five always. Possibly my number one of all time, I don't know. Midsummer Night is the most rich, beautiful, warm summer's night fantasy outdoor fragrance. It's quite strong, this one. It's beautiful. So aftershavey. In fact, for those of you who know your aftershaves, it's an almost exact dupe of Draco Noir. It's absolutely beautiful, it's heavenly, a fantasy summer, midsummer night um, candle, absolutely love it. Beautiful wax colour, beautiful label, L love the name, all time classic Yankee candle. Next up is Madagascar Orchid, Madagascar Orchid. This one's a powerhouse, um, it's a beautiful heady floral but with loads of different notes, the sweet, there's a touch of slight spice and lots of different florals. A very complex candle that reveals all sorts of hidden secrets every time you burn it. It's uh, a really good one, that one, Madagascar Orchid, and it's good and strong as well. So there we go, that's always a good thing. Okay, next up, it's Christmas time and Merry Christmas. This one was from the limited edition vintage series with kind of nostalgic labels. I think there were three of these. This is the only one I've got. Um, and let's have a smell of vintage berries. I've never burned it because it's my only one but yep it's Christmas berries Christmas goodness in a candle very nice not that different from too many other ones but it's lovely you know you can't you can't beat berries and festive kind of notes in a candle can you and the label is to die for so there we go Merry Christmas even though it's only January next one is Macintosh Spice Macintosh Spice another great autumnal and winter warmer that uh, disappeared a few years ago and it's beautiful, this one. It's um, it's spicy, rich, lovely apples with a bit of magic thrown in as well. It's got a kind of sharp tinge to it, so it's not just like cinnamon and apples. There's something else in there. I'm not quite sure what it is, but gives it a kind of magical touch. One of my favourite apple fragrances of all time. Um, a definite winter warmer, Macintosh Spice. There we go. Right, next up. We go back to the summer and summer cocktails, really, and uh, beautiful treats and margarita time. Margarita time came out for a very short period of time, about five or six years ago, I think, in the UK. And it's a cocktail. You can smell the salt on the margarita. That's the incredible thing with this one. You can smell the salt. It's limey. It's icy. It's sweet. It's hinge and fantasy of the alcohol note in there. Beautiful. A margarita in a candle and you can smell the salt. Again, I've said it again. That's the amazing thing about that one. Margarita time. Very clever candle. Right, what have we got next? Ah, this is from the Vintage Wine Series. I got these, uh, I think, for a Christmas present about a year ago. So uh, a year or two ago, anyway. This one is Merlot. So does it smell like Merlot wine? It's not too far off, to be honest. It, uh, these vintage wine candles don't have too much of an alcohol feel about them, but it smells probably like the Merlot grape smells. It's unlike the other Yankee Candle grape smells. It's a rich, deep, kind of purpley red grape smell. Not like, As I say, it's not like Vineyard or anything like that. It's quite unique. If you only get one or two of the wine candles, I would recommend Merlot. Merlot and White Zinfandel are actually the best two, so it's beautiful. I've burned that one, and it's really, really nice. Had a good throw as well, so that's Merlot. Right, macaron treats, macaron treats, so it's biscuits and all things good, and this was released as a festive Christmas candle a couple of years ago, I think it's disappeared now for a year or two. Mmm, it's, it's rich, 
Christmas uh, goodness. It smells more kind of cakey than biscuity, to be honest. But it's a beautiful Christmas. It's almost like you can, you know, if you open a cake tin and that fresh baked dough almost leaps out at you, that sweet, spicy cake smell. That's what it's like. It's a fresh baked cake when you just, woof, you know, rip it open and you, it hits you. Um, there we go. Macaron treats. Next up is Mantown. Mantown was from the short-lived uh, Man Candles range. That was a great idea. I, used to, I loved all the Man Candles. Uh, horrible label of a basketball player and a guy with his finger on a TV remote, but we won't hold that against it because Mantown smells heavenly. It's like one of the best aftershave smells you can imagine. It's full-on men's aftershave, but old school. I like the old school kind of watery, strong, you know, rugged... Um, aftershave type smells and that's what this is like a good old-fashioned bold splash it all over if you know what i mean aftershave that's man town it's great i love it and a decent throw on that one too two to go in this first part of the m's we go back to christmas with a slightly off color but never mind merry marshmallow which is supposed to be white but it's one of those white ones that changes color the label is to die for with the little colored snowman with the hat on and then this one is simply pure marshmallow goodness it smells like vanilla and marshmallow it's as simple and clean as that a sprinkling of sugar perhaps beautiful good strong thrower um, but that's what it is it's marshmallow and vanilla in a candle and sometimes you don't want any more of that it's beautiful so there we go okay and then we have this one is full of uh, top up what i tend to do i know other people do different things when i when we finish a jar we sometimes scoop the bits out the bottom of the jar and if we've got the same scent they go into the same scent to save trimming the wick on the first burn. So there we go, it saves melting them because we don't like doing that. But I'll make sure I don't lose this, but <sighs> this is one of my, the label's kind of a bit of a strange, you know, it's a pail of water, you know, in a, in a meadow with wet grass around it. It's the best rainy, outdoorsy, kind of florally grass scent that Yankee have ever done. It's really strong, it's beautiful. It's so fresh and it actually picks up the smell of dew and rain raising off the grass very clever scent beautiful definitely in my all-time top 10 so there's meadow showers that's the end of the first part of the m's uh we'll be back again soon with the next one thanks for watching bye